What is up guys? It's Food and Nut. Uh, coming at you with a different kind of video today. It's a yoga and that video. So part of my channel is obviously food, but you know people ask what's the and that supposed to be? And that is, you know, whatever I feel like. Felt like doing some yoga, so I recorded myself doing it and this is it. So I'm actually doing a video or doing some yoga along to a video um, produced by another YouTuber called Yoga with uh, Adrian and she's been doing yoga for years she's been putting out these videos for years I think this is from day 7 of Yoga Revolution it's like a 31 day yoga course for beginners really accessible and um, I've really enjoyed it uh, I did some of her other videos as well um, but I just thought I'd record this one because it's quite a simple video there's not anything too strenuous so the video is gonna have periods of me talking and then periods of just kind of silence where you can just watch the video and see what I'm doing what I'm doing now is like the mountain pose is what it's called I think and you're kind of just like extending your body extending your spine standing up really straight and tall with your arms stretched out in the bottom like that and she's basically asking me to kind of flex my toes so you can see me wiggling my toes and flexing them and that's just actually really helps uh, if you kind of wear uncomfortable shoes which I do wear sometimes um, but one of the reasons I'm uploading this as well is just because when I've been doing yoga I've really been enjoying like the effects the after effects it gives me the the calmness the exercise aspect of it uh, it gives you some sort of structure to your day uh, so I normally do it in the mornings after I wake up after I have a coffee it's a really nice time for me to do yoga because I'm still got the buzz from the coffee and it's really nice and sunny and bright and I just think this is a great time to do it so what I'm doing now is just kind of stretching my back you can't really see it uh, well, it's kind of off screen but the stretch I did just then where you put your you interlace your knuckles and kind of stretch push down and pull away when you're back it's really good for stretching your shoulders for your stretching for your abdomen your chest your quads you can see like the the bottoms of my quads flex um, it's actually really helpful because I did a run I think the day before and it, it just felt really good to just stretch all of that out sorry for the camera shake so yeah this is the warrior 2 pose <clears throat> I just changed the cam I just changed the angle because this is a way better angle but basically you're kind of getting your your front leg so my right leg there in the video parallel with the floor you know I'm not that flexible but I tried to do as best as I could and then you extend your arms out wide and you gaze off into the distance like it looks fairly easy and it is an easy pose to to strike but to hold the pose is, is really quite something so here I'm moving into I think she calls it like a triangle side body a triangle side angle I can't really remember the exact name but like if you're really good you can put your your hand past your ankle onto the floor I'm not that flexible I can't do that yet but it's a really really good stretch you feel it all the way 
like your obliques, your glutes, your quads, everywhere, all down your back as well. It just feels amazing, amazing stretch. And so now she's telling me to basically like copy that pose, but on a different side. So one thing I think that like people don't really like about yoga or some people scoff at and I definitely scoffed at yoga for years you know people were always telling me to try it out I, I was just like yeah whatever man that's just some hippie stuff um, it, it kind of is but like I don't really buy into the the spirituality kind of side of it and the, the meditation side it's not really for me um, some people really like it and they really find meaning in it um, but personally for me it's uh, you know it's not for me I just like it for the physical benefits the flexibility the exercise the breathing is really good it really calms me down um, but spiritually I, I don't really buy it so in some of her videos she gets into the spirituality part but I think for beginners and people who are just aren't interested in that, it, it is fine. You can kind of just ignore it or glaze over it. So here on this side, I'm just pulsing in and out of the Warrior 2 movement, keeping my arms up and bending my knee. And I will be moving into a triangle side angle on this side of my body as well um, when she tells me to but something I found with um, the yoga is like I mentioned it before earlier in the video is that it, it adds structure to your day and I think for everyone during lockdowns during COVID structure has been really important uh, it's a really important part of my day actually and it, it kind of takes your mind off things for maybe half an hour for 40 minutes an hour if you go that long um, it really helps you kind of step back take note of how you feel of how the world feels around you and what's really nice as well is that I've seen other people um writing about how I feel about it as well if you look in the comments of her videos there's loads of people saying oh you know I've just joined this video or I've just joined this course um, and the video this exact video was published like three years ago and people are revisiting her channel because they're looking uh, for things to do during lockdown and, and covid when everybody has more free time on their hands and you know yoga is, is a great way to pass that time uh, improving your flexibility your physical health and you know your mental state so it's nice that people echo you know how, how i'm feeling and people find support in those communities as well so now we're going to move into I think the most kind of yogi pose, yogi looking pose in the video, uh, tree pose I think it's called, I think she calls it tree pose, I only know yoga from her, I don't know it from other people so I don't know if there's another name for the pose, um, but you basically take your, your right foot and put it parallel to your left thigh so what you're actually doing is pushing with that right foot against your left thigh and with your left thigh pushing against the base of the right foot and um, you're creating a lot of pressure there but when you create the pressure you're creating stability too and i've just got my hands in like a prayer pose and then i will be extending them above my head into the shape of a letter y and just kind of stretching out my chest stretching out my shoulders my core all while keeping stable on that left foot and 
then we're going to release it slowly back to the floor and we're going to do it with the other side but I'm just going to take a little stretch in between so something to note as well if you're just starting yoga these poses like the tree pose they do take time to uh, master um, you know one reason for that is the stability this pose is not really a pose that's based on stretching or flexibility but more stability it's trying to keep stable on that right foot because that's the only thing touching the ground so you really have to engage your core your abdomen your glutes your hips everything to keep yourself stable and from falling over so I've been doing this pose now for like three months but you know the first time I did it I was falling all over the place like swinging my arms around to try and keep balance um, but you know as she recommends in the video just slow your breathing down take stock look out into the distance pinpoint something to focus on and just focus on that and your body will kind of do the rest for you so yeah just gonna bring that leg down slowly and I'm gonna take the mountain pose again so something as well that is worth noting as well is if you do like weights or weightlifting I used to do weightlifting I kind of still lift but not as heavy as I used to and it's really great to maintain flexibility in your joints um, the more flexible you are the less injury prone you will be and you know weightlifting injuries can take you out of the gym for like months on end if you pop something if you tear some muscle up it's really going to affect your progress so a bit of yoga on the side doesn't hurt um, I know the kind of the I don't know how to say it like yoga looks a bit kind of sissy or a bit fairy uh, it doesn't really have the kind of same aesthetic as like pumping weights does but I think if you're lifting weights it, it really is essential to improve your flexibility and your longevity in the gym so this is getting towards the end of the practice now and she asks us to transition to the floor so you just saw me kind of stretching out my legs my hamstrings my back my glutes and now this is the cobbler pose I think it's called so you put your feet together open up your hips try and push your knees to the floor I really like it because you get to put your thumbs in the bridges of your feet and massage them it's a really really great feeling and it feels great on the hips as well um, my knees eventually will be able to touch the floor but at the moment they're kind of they are where they are before they were much higher up so I can actually visually tell that my flexibility in my hips has improved so this pose now is actually quite challenging for me and it's not one that I had done before but it's basically holding the cobbler's pose but keeping a, a really straight back and keeping your hands out in front of you but you can see my back was rounding so this is something that I can actually improve on later and I can keep doing and this just feels amazing right here stretching your legs like window wiping your legs it feels great on the hips and the glutes the obliques as well so here she's just kind of ending the practice and she just wants you to sit down and meditate um, I think for like a minute or so or two minutes I'm not sure um, and on this particular day I, you know I found it really difficult to meditate and actually take stock of what I was doing and the world around me um, but I still did it still managed to do it anyway um, that's what yoga promotes it promotes thoughtfulness and mindfulness 
and it just allows you to kind of slow down slow your mind down slow your breathing down here I'm just doing some stretches um, that is a really good stretch if you're like sat at a desk all day just kind of twisting your back she normally does them but in this episode she didn't do them so I just chucked them in myself because I was in the position so I thought why not so I'm kind of fidgeting here trying to really struggling with the meditation but I still kind of managed it in the end so guys that is the video for today it's just a little something different I will say goodbye and if you made it this far thank you for watching let me know what you think um, I've got another food video um, in the making so it should be released soon should be some Thai food so let me know if you're looking forward to that and I'll catch you in the next one bye bye thank you